Level up your game with the latest mechanical keyboards from Mastrop, like the brand new Mastrop Alt, a 67% board with RGB lighting, aluminum frame, dual USB-C ports, and your choice of switches. Join the first production of the Alt and receive 10 bucks off your next keycap set, a unique serial number etched into your board, and more. Click the link in the description to catch this exciting drop before it ends. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I like to think that I have a pretty good idea of which products are coming in and which ones are going out. But every now and then a vendor will ship me a box or some sort of package that I, I wasn't expecting nor have any idea of what could be inside. So this is one of those occasions. I just got this today. It arrived on our doorstep here at the office studio from Asus. It says Republic of Gamers very proudly on one side. So we know it's not an AMD graphics card, that's for sure. Uh, and uh, it says ship to Bitwit on the other in the same sort of red spray painted font and there's a giant ROG logo on top. It's a pretty nice looking box. It's all wood and it's got these nice fold out handles on the side that are very sturdy metal handles and it's actually a pretty heavy package but I have no idea if that weight is from the box itself or whatever's inside. And so um, seeing as how I'm excited to unbox this right now, I felt I would share the experience with all of you, because I'm sure you're dying to know just as much as me, what could be inside. So let's dive right in, shall we? Starting with the packaging strap, ah, making sure to cut away from the eyes and face. Here we go. Buckle, and I think that's the only thing left securing the box, okay. All right, ready? Let's come off, people. Here we go. Wow, interesting. Okay, the ROG Strix Fusion 500 RGB 7.1 surround gaming headset. All right, so that's that's a thing. I wasn't aware of this product. We also have the optical gaming mouse ROG Gladius 2 Origin. Look at that. It's getting a little crowded on this table right now. Let me clear some stuff up. There's more things in here. They've got a whole sort of peripherals kit going on. The ROG Scabbard, which, wait, this is a mouse pad box that has no mouse pad in it. It's an empty box. Oh wait, here. This is the ROG Scabbard Cordura fabric. Cordu Cordura, Cordura. Looks like it's a, a fairly large one. Perhaps it's one of those extra wide ones for your, your keyboard as well. And then finally, we have a mechanical gaming keyboard. This is the ROGX, no, ROGX. What the heck is that? The ROG Strix Flare RGB. Look at that, RGB, it's got mechanical keys. Looks like they're RGB red switches. Genuine Cherry MX, beautiful. And uh, looks like you got a customizable logo here that you can probably 3D print and add your own. A nice wrist rest. Not sure if the body is aluminum or not. Why don't we unbox the keyboard? While we're here, why not? We've already unboxed this box. And by the way, I, if you guys are wondering, I don't really know what to do with these very cool but super large packages that vendors sometimes send me. So they usually just get put into the storage closet and never seen again. But this is exciting. Let's crack this guy open, take him for a whirl. Maybe we can even plug him in and see what the LEDs look like all lit up. Rah! Asus Aura Sync compatible, why of course. Ah, la 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 la. Very nice packaging. Gives a very premium feel. Looks like we also have USB pass through, hey hey. Oh, ooh, fancy, 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 fancy. This is pretty nice. It's got some pop out feet and it's rubber so it doesn't slip around. Hello, this is a video. Ha ha ha. Feels good. Feels like cherries. Oh, you feel so cherry. Looks like we got a Windows lock key. Brightness adjustment, multimedia, volume rocker. Very nice, it's kind of got, uh, it's a plastic body, but it does have some weight to it. Ooh, pretty. The RGB LEDs look pretty good. I'm really liking all the little details on this keyboard so far. I mean, the underglow lighting looks really nice. You've got two strips on either side. I'm sure that's customizable. You could probably disable it as well. We've also got some ROG branding sort of etched into the side of the space bar here. It looks really cool. And a two-tone design, you got brushed on one side, very clean on the other in terms of the body. Makes it look like aluminum, but it's not. It's, it's actually plastic. Uh, you got a brightness, windows lock key again. And then I just noticed the volume rocker actually has a click. So that's probably click to mute and you can probably reprogram that as well. Very nice keyboard. Well, I think it's time to wrap things up, guys. So I wanna say a huge shout out and thanks to Asus for sending all this stuff over. Over. Can't wait to play with all of these new toys. And uh, yeah, thanks to all of you for watching. This was fun. This was super fun. We should do this all the time. We should do it every day.
No, that's probably too much. All right, never mind. But um, hey, toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed and yada, 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 so you don't miss any more stuff coming to the channel very, very soon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Why am I so hyper right now? I think this wooden box was laced with narcotics. That's why it smelled so familiar.